BBC News at three minutes past ten. Our next at eleven. Now, Junior Choice with Ed Stewart. Morning. And here we go again. How are you? And happy Christmas. Have you undone all the presents yet? Or are you going to wait till the start of this program? Because I haven't got any in my studio. This is the Ken Bruce studio. And so there's nothing left. He doesn't leave anything. He's here 364 days a year. He doesn't leave me anything. Anyway, not to worry. No more about Ken. I've got to say hello to so many of you who sent in requests. Some have been written for, some are on the old machinery. But uh, here's one from Baz the Poet. He says, hi there, Stupid. Very happy Christmas. And just a few lines for you. You kindly used to mention my poetry way back when you had the afternoon program on Radio 2. So here, here it comes now. Thanks, Baz. Here's a goodwill message to you and one and all. It's great to hear your lived-in voice are bouncing off the walls, are listening to the good old records like this one from Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Rockin' Robin, Michael Jackson. Did I say that? I did, and correctly. I've got the first record on there. Hello, Michael. Hello, darling. Thank you. That was his name, actually, that young kid. was Michael, I seem to remember. How are you all? It's been seen a long time since I've spoken to you, but I've got so many bits of paper to read out. Let's go for the first couple, shall we? Happy Christmas. Just waiting for the highlight of the year. Ed Stewart's junior choice on BBC Radio 2 at 10 o'clock. Thank you, Minky Moo. And looking forward to children's favourites on BBC Radio 2, 10 till 12, a must for all children of a certain age. And we heard one of those all children of a certain age singing for us. Michael Jackson and Rockin' Robin. <laughs> Have we got some perennials for you all today. Hello, Anne. Thank you for your message for Dixie in Burwash in East Sussex. Used to love all the favourites, and she's going to hear them all this morning, I'll tell you what. If you want to hear a favourite today, and they're going to be most of the usual favourites, so because uh, you all love to hear them. If you'd like to send me a request, then stewpot at bbc.co.uk or text me on 88 to 91. And the Facebook and Twitter are both up and running as well. Text will be charged at your standard message rate. So I have to mention that all that to you as we come to a request for champion the wonder horse with Frankie Lane. I remember, says Janet Miller, when me and my sister Margaret, riding on brooms around the garden with our pretend horses. Now I've got a husband called William and a son called Mark Miller. So Janet, champion the wonder horse is up and coming. Isn't it great to hear the old is the rare old? Because this is what this program is all about for the next hour and three quarters. There's so many records which we heard as children ourselves. I mean, half the ones are going to be playing. I can remember dear old Uncle Mac playing them. So that's how long they've been around. This one has been around for some time, but not back that far. Bernard Cribbins. Hello, Bernie. Right, said Fred, please. And just checked, says Julia Bradshaw, my Christmas double issue of the Radio Times. And you're on. Hallelujah. All is right with my Christmas world. Please would you play for my big brothers and sister. We were all raised on junior choice. That's Clive, Claire, Roger and Martin. And for my children, Charlie and Florence. I'm educating them to have a good working knowledge of these classic records. I agree with you. Happy Christmas, Stupart. Thank you for being there on our Christmas morning. And says Samantha Whitaker from Newbury. I'm absolutely delighted to see that you're hosting junior choice on Christmas morning again this year. Please May I dedicate Right Said Fred to my parents, Dinah and Mike Warnock, and take the opportunity to wish them a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks, Ed. Hoping you and your family enjoy your Christmas Day. Thank you. And uh, Josie Hoven says from uh, is well, Junior Choice has become a Christmas t- a tradition for our family. We listen every year, so I'd like a mention, please, and send love to my husband, Chris, and our boys, Ben and Tommy Hoven, and uh, Chris's sister, Jackie, and brother, Billy, and and their family as well. And we love Right Said Fred. So this is our first big bumper bundle of the morning. Uh, Alan, Andrea and brother Gavin say, as usual, I'm cooking and listening. I don't know which of you is doing the cooking, but one of you is. Uh, happy birthday to our son, James Cook. <laughs> doing the cooking with a name like Cook. He was born on this day 24 years ago at RAF Akrotiri. 
please say an hello darling to his girlfriend Mafaldo. I'll have this at the end, uh, who is over here from Portugal for her first British Christmas. I've spent all year seeing this. <laughs> so would you please play right said Fred. Are you ready? Are you going to be ready, Mafalda? Uh, just one more dedication here. This is the Wheeler family. We love to listen to Junior Choice on Christmas morning, and we love, best of all, right said Fred. Have a great show and a lovely Christmas. Say Donna, Grant, Campbell, aged 11, Ailey, aged 8. Um, as a, it's a Scottish form of Helen, and it's pronounced like Haley without the H. Ah, thank you for explaining it to me. Ailey. Are you there? Going to listen to Right Said Fred? Right. I think he's ready. OK, Bernie, off we go then. We'll just have to leave it standing on the landing. Standing on the landing, mate. See, That's it. With Fred, he's, he's, he's too hasty. Now, you never get nowhere if you're too hasty. Bernie, always sounds the same, but it is the same since he recorded it back in the early 60s. Ah, Joshua, how are you today? Jenny Davis, who is your grandmother, says you're a great lad. So I hope you heard your name mentioned on Junior Choice this morning. Emma Waller from Birmingham says, uh, any chance of playing the typewriter by Leroy Anderson and wishing a very happy Christmas to all the Waller and Price families who might be listening today and practicing on their typewriters. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't go that fast on your computer, can you? I wonder who was the typewriter on that, or who was using their typewriter on that. Leroy Anderson wrote the music, and that's always been a favourite too, hasn't it? Huh? <laughs> it's a real treat for us at Christmas, along with our son George. He loves the records you play on Junior Choice on Christmas Day. What about the Trail of the Lonesome Pine by Laurel and Hardy? How we remember listening to that when you used to play it. We dedicate it to our darling George, his cousins Alice, Molly and Kate and Harry, Nanny Joan, Uncle Brian, Auntie Angela, Auntie Jackie and Uncle Paul. Can you find space for this on your show? We're doing our very best. Julie and Clive Borman. Yes, the trailer. There they go, coming down there, down the pathway. On a mountain in Virginia. Ah, uh, what? Did that uh, put you off your breakfast, did it? Eggs and bacon, and then you hear about a monster mash. I'd rather have the roast potatoes for lunch today, wouldn't you? I don't think mash quite goes with uh, turkey. But anyway, each to their own. Merry Christmas, Ed, says Sarah. Looking forward to listening to your show every year. Always brings back great memories. Request to my family in Kingston-upon-Thames, please. Dad Trevor, Jane, Sally and David Sharp, who will be listening and have fond memories of your show from years gone by. Uh, and lovely Mum Anne, don't let's forget her either. A Merry Christmas matey. Matey, says Davy G at Kingstown, Kingstown Hospital Radio. Always great to hear you on Christmas Day. How about of your tunes? One of them for the Glovers, Edwards and Listers in Driffield in Crowell and Manchester. And finally, says Davy Connolly, I'm trying to take piano lessons and I wish I could get as big and as well playing as Maxwell my grandson and Sparky. Sparky Sparky. Uh, who's that? Who's calling me? It is I, your piano. How long has this record been going? It's amazing, isn't it? We all still love it so much. It really was you playing. Yeah. How did you learn to play so well? Oh, I must phone your teacher right away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when you were learning to play the piano and you, you used to say, I wish I could play it like Sparky. Why won't he talk to me? <laughs> I used to, and they used to think I was mad. I love listening to Junior Choice on Christmas morning. And this is one where I haven't, don't seem to have a... Oh, yes, I do. Here it is, the other half of the, of the page. Richard Fitz says this, and uh, your cheery voice and songs and shout-outs are the perfect accompaniment to a traditional Christmas morning. Well, now to my request this year will be especially uh, special as my daughter is here with her family from New Zealand. That's a long journey, isn't it? We're having a large family Christmas in Solcombe in Devon with my two children. And as the grandchildren range in ages from 14 to 3, it's a unique opportunity for me to spend a Christmas with my children and grandchildren. There won't be a happier man on the planet. So please give a sh shout out to the cars from uh, Wanaka, or is it Wanaka? Wanaka, I think it is. 
I didn't get my pronunciation book out. I should have. Anyway, and the Fitz from Tynmouth in Devon and from Wanaka in New Zealand. Next year, there'll be a good chance your audience will include some Kiwis. G'day, mate. Good. All right. Richard Fitz, thank you for that one. And uh, I, I, I was thinking of the solution for Sparky's, Sparky's problem with playing the piano. Why doesn't he listen to Russ Conway? Good old Russ. Russ Conway couldn't read a note of music, but he had hits like that one. His first hit, and that was Side Saddle. So, Sparky fans everywhere, keep practising. Now, Simon Hadley. Now, this is my next big bumper bundle. What do you think it's going to be? Simon Hadley says, Hi, Stewpot. It's for my two big brothers, Stephen. Big brothers? He's 59, Stephen. Michael is 56, and I'm the baby brother at 51. My goodness me, Simon Hadley. All right, you're going to get it. Since you've mentioned my brothers, it is my brother. Yes, you probably guessed already. Andrew Belcher says, my brother for for me, Andy... Oh, oh I'm getting a lot of ages in this lot. Uh, for my... Um, Andy, age 48, is in Offenham, Worcestershire. And my brother, Colin, he's 51, is in Crystal Palace. Our mother, Vi, always put a request on our birthdays when we were younger, but despite sitting with our ears to the radio, we were never lucky enough to hear our names read out. You are now. And I'm married, says uh, Andrew Belcher, to the lovely Becky. Have two gorgeous children, Megan and Simpson, aged 11 and 7, while my brother is very happy with wife Susie and son Harrison. OK, from Andover in Hampshire, I have a letter here from, well, it was an email, actually, from Rosie, who says, could you please play my brother for my own brother, Stephen Saffin. We are now both in our 50s, but remember fondly listening to this, because we didn't believe a word of it was true, because we were perfect brothers. Love from Mandy Hargood. Thank you for another year. Family tradition and a request for the Hargood family as we hope to be gathered at Brother Jonathan's place for dinner. Hopefully Dad is better and home with us and love to Cousin Gillian who is all working all day as a carer. My brother, says Ray Middleton, my brother. For my brother Jeff, he'll be celebrating his 60th birthday next year. This record always reminds me of Christmas spent together when we were young. OK. And Emma Sawyer says, My brother by Terry Scott, dedicated to my dad, Bob Sawyer. It always makes us laugh, this. He does it. What? Well, he never stops, does he, that my brother? He just, he's there all the time. Oh, there's something funny around here. What is it? Oh, it's you. Come here and sit down. You're going to have the truth. Four. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so answers on a postcard, please. What do you think he had in his hand? Anyway, that was Terry Scott, and that was recorded back in 1962 and has been the bumper bundle on Junior Choice ever since. People love it, don't you? Great. Now, let's say hello to driving home for Christmas, because so many of you must be doing that very thing, or driving to the neighbours or whoever. And I know that uh, some people, uh, for instance, we've got a family driving to Auntie Pauline's for Christmas. Uh, they, she's up in Lancashire. Say Hope, Grace and Mum. So please give her a mention. Looking forward to seeing her soon. Yes. I think it's a lovely record. This because so many of you are there, behind the steering wheel. Are we nearly there? <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. driving home for Christmas. You can play that record any time of the year. Well, well, it takes a bulldozer a bit longer, doesn't it? But, I mean, you can. You could play that in the middle of August and it would sound great. He's just started for Christmas. Well done, Chris Rea, for making a record like that, which is a perennial, isn't it? Hi, Keith Payne of sunny South London. Sunny South? It's not sunny from where I'm sitting here in central London. But please wish happy Christmas to my mum, Joyce Hales of 91 who is 91, I see, who used to have let me have your programme on when I was but a small boy. But that's why I listen to it every year now. Thank you, Keith. And a happy Christmas to Peter and Jackie Raggett in Essex. Yes, we've got white horses. Have we got white horses in the programme today? Later on, so I'll keep that for when we get to white horses, because I'm going to play another one now. For all our uh, listeners in Europe or around the world, however you're listening today, we have to change cities sometimes, don't we? So how about Amsterdam this time? Christmas with Kylie. Join me today from 2 on BBC Radio 2. Hi, ah, it's Christmas with Stu Pot and the Wombles. At a quarter to 11, that's the time, and I'm here live. I've uh, got my Everton shirt on just to keep uh, everybody else infuriated. Um, new ferry in the Wirral, because that's the Wirral, isn't it? Everton, you see. Paul Roberts says... 
Good to have you back on Christmas Day. How about Wombling Merry Christmas? That was the first record I bought, I had bought for me for that Christmas in 1974, when I was just four years old, and I love it and still do. You're going to hear it again in a moment. You've got friends Stephen and Kelly who will appreciate this one. Colin Child says, we love your Junior Choice program, especially Wombling Merry Christmas, for my wife Anne-Marie, who still has her uncle Bulgaria and loves the song. You don't, do you? Is he watching you now? Is he smiling? Oh, great. Keith Stewart, no relation, Ed. On Christmas morning, I'll be with my lovely wife, Amanda, driving from Norfolk back home to Essex to spend a few days with our respective families. Yes, we love a wobbling Merry Christmas. Can we have one, please? <laughs> Mandy Miller, always a perennial played, perennially played, shall I say, here on Junior Choice, especially on the Christmas Day one, Nelly the Elephant. Once again, Ed, good morning. We'd like to ask you to dedicate a record to all the Hunter family who are gathering with us for Christmas lunch in Breco in Perthshire, up here in Scotland. This year we'll have my family, that's my wife Jan, who's delegated the turkey cooking to daughter Iona, and hopefully we'll be putting her feet up. Then the son Rory, mother-in-law Zena, and the dogs Hazel and Tay. And joining us will be brother Richard, his wife Christine, daughter Emma, and son Andrew. Back up from London. And don't forget other daughter Louise who will be working. And Christmas wishes to our brother Hamish, who's a vet in Aberdeenshire, on call over Christmas. His wife Donna and their kids Ben and Hannah. Thank you, says Eric Hunter. You sure you wanted to be Christmas every day? Starts Boxing Day at 8pm on BBC One. And here on BBC Radio 2, it's 12 minutes to 12. Better get a move on. Samantha Cook from Bournemouth in Dorset says, look forward to tuning into your programme. Uh, could you wish the Cook family, Christina, Samantha, Michelle and Andy, a very Merry Christmas. We'll be getting together on Christmas Day in Studland in Dorset to enjoy the festivities. We'll always be thinking about our dear dad Robert and Grandma Olga as well. You need feet, says Mick Daly to get from the uh, post, uh, post box in Perth Road in Barking to post this request for you. Hope you'll be again on Christmas. We well, never miss it if we can help it. You need feed, yeah. For a daughter, Dawn Hennessy, her husband, Colin, and my grandchildren, Claire and John, in uh, Dagenham, and son, Gerald, and his wife, Annie, and grandson, Harry, in West Wickham. Many thanks, Ed, says Mick. Have you got big feet, Mick? <laughs> Ah, you need feet. Bernard Breslau, if you're wondering who Bernard Breslau was, he was a very, very tall comedian on, on many of the Carry On series in the old days, and the older ones amongst us will remember him well. So, your show on Christmas Day brings so many me happy memories. I'd love you to say, hello, mother, hello, father, to my dear mum and dad, Peter and Barbara Williams in Henley. And also says Claire Williams from Bovington in Hertfordshire, also to my lovely, lovely brother, well, you've had the brother, Andrew, and his family in Derby on Christmas Day. We'll mention them as well, because uh, Ellie, Eloy, and Will uh, Rietveld, sounds like a Dutch name to me, looking forward to your junior choice. Can you play Hello, Mother, Hello, Father? As Dutch people, we've never been on a holiday like this. <laughs> Jimmy Durante, make someone happy. I hope I've made you happy today with our junior choice, our annual visit to the old records. I've got one, well, it's actually, it's going to be Morning Town Ride, with the words. With the words. And my children's sister, Debbie, uh, says Jackie Studs and Saffron Walden, I, we listen to your show, Morning Town Ride has always been our favourite, but we don't hear the words enough. Well, I'm going to play them all to you now. Uh, says Jane, I listen to your programme as a kid all the time. My favourite tune was Morning Town Ride. Are you going to play it today? Yes, I am for Mark, Karen, Lauren and Rob, Aaron and Sam, and our new grandson, Albie. Would you please play it? Certainly. By the Seekers. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help doing that. Such a great song, this Morning Town Ride by the Seekers. And that lovely voice of Judith Durham. And it's me, Stu Part, saying thanks for listening for the last couple of hours. It has been such great fun. And thank you, Bridget and Jill, for helping me out behind the glass. Santa's little helpers. <laughs> 
I'll be with you whenever. But to have a great Christmas Day, won't you, folks? This is BBC Radio 2. Paul O'Grady is next. Online and digital radio. 88 to 91 FM. Now let's have a look at the BBC News at midday. With